Good morning, 727 Southwest 212. We're going to be solving for a sphere right here. Okay, so I wrote down the formula for the volume of a sphere. And we have the volume for the sphere. We're going to actually be solving for the radius. The weird thing about the sphere is it doesn't have a height or a, or a base or anything. It only has radius. That's the only variable. So I'm going to quickly draw a sphere. If you don't know how to draw one, here's how you draw one. Just draw a circle. That turned out actually pretty good. Wow. Okay. Next thing you do is just draw kind of a curved line in front of it, across in the middle. And then you'll do the same thing around the back, but you'll make a dashed line like this. I did not think it was going to turn out this good. This is a, this is a good morning right here. So now I'm going to draw the, my middle center point and an arrow, a line over to the side. That is R, and that is what we're solving for. So I'm going to put this volume in the volume spot. So I'll have 288 pi equals 4 over 3 pi r cubed. If you're wondering what 288 pi means, it's just the 288 and the pi have not been multiplied together yet. So that's all that's happened there. Okay, I need to solve for R. First thing I need to do is get rid of this 4 thirds and pi. I'm going to deal with the 4 thirds first. If you didn't remember, you can get rid of a fraction by multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the flip of that fraction. I'm going to multiply by 3 over 4, and on this side I'm going to multiply by 3 over 4. So I'm going to multiply 288 times 3 fourths. Here's how you do that. You do 288 times 3 divided by 4. That's timesing it by 3 fourths. And I get... 216. So this is 216 pi. I just left the pi off the calculator because it hadn't been multiplied in. So it's fine to leave it there. And now I have equals pi and r cubed. Notice the 4 thirds went away because we multiplied by 3 over 4. So 3 times then divided, the 4 times then divided. So they canceled out. I got a phone call. It's just going to kind of ring as I'm uh, doing this video. So don't mind it. Um, next thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by pi. Still ringing. So when I divide by pi, this pi cancels. Kind of cool. There's pi on the other side also. So that cancels. That'll lower my video. And now I've got just r cubed. So this is just 216 because the pi is perfectly canceled. My last step, I need to get rid of a r to the third power. You have a button on your calculator that does that. That's this uh, x root key. So we're going to use that. First thing I'm going to do is uh, type in a 3. Then I'm going to hit second. And then I'm going to hit that x root key. And I'll just type in the number I have there. Uh, 216. Actually, I could probably write the cube root on the top of both of those. And now I've got r equals, turns out it's 6, so the radius of that is 6. 